as a paranormal investigator, I have a personal top five places to investigate list. Sitting close to the top of this list is the Grand Mansion, which is known as Istana Woodnook. This historic mansion was built in the 19th century by Sultan Abu Bakar of Malaysia for his fourth wife, Sultana Khatija. After the passing of his wife, Sultan Abu Bakar sold the land to his son, Sultan Ibrahim, who later rebuilt the house for his wife. Istana Wutnuk has been used as the general's headquarters and as a military hospital. In 1942, during World War II, Istana Wutnuk was bombed by the Japanese. It is estimated that 700 medics and patients died in this deadly attack. Besides the possibility of 700 entities roaming the mansion, I have been told satanic cults have conducted rituals here. In some rituals, a portal to hell is open and it becomes a passageway for demonic entities. From experience, I know a possession by a demonic entity can harm the mental state of a person or in a worst case scenario, a person can die. Yes. Okay, we're going to go in from here. Once again, singing or music can be heard. Is there anything in here that wants to communicate? Reach out and touch my meter like you just did. Yes, absolutely. Are you someone that died in this hospital? If you are, please touch the meter in my hand. While exploring, we came across burnt vintage car doors, rental chairs, and old furniture.
The first EVP session was done as a group, but we failed to get significant results. So I sent Jane and Stalin to the kitchen to conduct their EVP. Do you feel angry that your life was taken just like that? Are you angry and pissed off? Sad? Miss your family? You know, I'm really losing my patience. The 700 of you that died here and not one wants to communicate, I think that's quite sad. Were there any children? Are you a child? Do you hear that? Sounds like a bug, isn't it? Sounds like two squeaks. Right? Yeah, like a mouse or two. Like a bug or something. Put this room outside. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is that what you meant? Yes. <laughs> okay. Like a very, the faintest. Yes, that's and Like in it, my ear. Yes, I heard it twice. That's why I asked you. I, I thought you meant the mouse or something else. Like, what would it take for, us to, for you to communicate with us? Should I sing a Japanese song? Do you know, Do you know any Japanese <laughs> songs? <laughs> I know the para para song does that come. Do it. Seriously. <laughs> Should I do the para para dance then you communicate with us? Maybe they like dancing. Maybe you should dance. <laughs> Dude, I don't know any para para stuff man. <laughs> Come on, we're here. So much hype and then, you know, we don't want to talk to us. It's quite sad. It's so sad. You're making me very sad. You know, I feel for you because you were probably going about your day and unexpected. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, well. No. I'm not pressing it, right? Guys. I got a scare. <laughs> shit. Okay, can you all like come here with me? Something moved in the oven. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> freak the both of us out. I jumped. Car. At... <laughs> I jumped behind Star. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Hey, seriously, 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 like the one girl just come here. Seriously. Can you reckon it is? Is it a mouse? I don't wanna know, man. If it's a mouse, I'm gonna scream. Okay. You know, yeah. Shit, man. Better not be a mouse. It's gonna keep really quiet. Can you give me a sign? You obviously gave my friends a sign that you are here. Can you do it now? Shh. Flickering lights are captured on my night vision camera. Is there anyone that wants to make contact? All you have to do is to move something. You managed to move this. I don't know what this is. Washing machine? Stove. A stove? Whoa. <laughs> okay? 
Can you do it again? Louder this time. Our microphone records this strange rumble. Next, we had Gobi and Charlene conduct a session together in a room at the end of the mansion, but unfortunately, they didn't get any results. Jane um, asked if I could, if I wanted to do this with her. So we're in the same room where Jane and Stalin were at, but uh, earlier the EVP, they were facing the other way. Um, behind us is that stove that they heard a the sound, right? Very aggressive. Mm. And I heard sound. it as well. So, we're here again. It seems very dark. Exceptionally dark. Yeah. Hmm. Is there... Oh, well, oh, no. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Are you a male or a female? No. If you're a male, yeah. Sorry. touch the meter. If you're a female, touch the meter. Very soft. Faint. Yeah. So I don't know if the microphone can pick that Capture up. That. Could you walk outside, you know, so we can hear your footsteps? Bless me. Yes. Wow. It was. So you like Noel? Do you like his sexy abs? Beer belly. <laughs> Do I know the dance for you? <laughs> if you want me to dance for you, touch the meter. Do you have a crush on Noel? I don't blame you. <laughs> Maybe you should flash yourself again. <laughs> Come touch me. Do you want to fondle Noel? You have the permission to molest me. <laughs> do not do not penetrate my anus. <laughs> That's hardly a privilege. <laughs> I mentioned hell, hell, mm. devil, Diablo, Lucifer. What do you reckon? I don't know. I think whatever that's here isn't here in anymore. Do you hear that? I hope you heard that. It was no, no, no. Who's there? You know when it's cold at night, um, metal. Uh, Expense, doesn't it? No, no, no. no contracts. Yes, yeah, contracts. Wood as well, but that was not the sound of wood contracting because. It sounded like a knock. Like that was clearly three knocks. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah. It feels like the room got smaller. That, that's how I feel, like the room got smaller. Yes, it did. There is something here. Now you want to communicate with us?
I just had the moon again. Yeah, I did too. Shit. What? Yeah, I heard the moon. You okay, Jane? Yeah. I'm feeling woozy. You feeling woozy? Mm. You wanna stop? No, go on. I feel really cold. Yeah, I do too, and I'm feeling very woozy. Let me know when you want to stop. Ooh. I'm okay. I'm feeling woozy too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna puke. Ah, uh, you know what that means? When you, when you feel like you want to puke? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm definitely going to be sick. <coughs> Do you mean to call for help? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you feel like vomiting, if you do a ghost hunt, uh, Ooh. majority of the time, right, uh, it's because a demonic entity is... Close. Yeah, close. You okay? Yeah. I'm I'm gonna puke soon. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm starting to feel chilly. I'm having goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. I felt really cold. Oof. Um I heard that demonic entities, right? They they have this this odor, you know, um it smells like sulfur. Mm. Could you please Please, give us the order. Then I know that... That's me, that's me. Do you sense any fear? Yeah. You do, right? Yeah. I think we should listen to um, whatever your body's telling you and get the f*** out of here. Yeah, let's go. Should I call for help? No, 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 it's okay. At 3 a.m., which is thought to be the start of the witching hour, Charlene, Stalin and myself investigated parts of the house we had yet to discover. When we were in one of the toilets, we captured this voice. There's no battery. Can you see that? My camera was not the only gadget which had its power zapped. The same happened to my torchlight and voice recorder. Could you make a noise? Bang the door? Pound the wall? Upon reviewing our footage, we think we may have captured an entity on video. The feeling up there is just... Something's wrong. Like, we were walking, it was fine. And the minute we were going up, right, our hearts were like... Mm. Like, no, it's just a lot of fear. 
and that room that our meter was going off the hook was just. And when I no saw way. the ladder, oh my god, the ladder. Yeah, it's just no. I I I I don't think I don't know if I can go back up there again. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really, just wanted to run, you know. Really, not a good feeling, guys. It's been 24 hours since my experience at Istana Ubud no? and I'm here to just share with you what I experienced when I got home. So basically there were two things that I was supposed to do. Uh, one was to linger elsewhere and uh, the other was to immediately take a shower and uh, leave the clothes that I wore in the toilet for me to wash the next day. So I did those two things and um, while I was taking a shower, I, I asked my partner to accompany me for obvious reasons because I was very disturbed by what, what I experienced. And uh, she saw that there was a scratch mark on my back and what seemed like, you know, like someone pressed me like with two fingers. And uh, I got even more freaked out by that. I was lying in bed and I was about to tell the story to my partner. And I swear to God, like, I, you know, I remember closing the toilet door. I, like, I remember closing it shut tight. And it seemed like someone or something, you know, whatever that was, like, kicked my toilet door, like, 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 really angrily, you know, like, like, so it wanted to come out, like, bang, you know, and I literally froze in bed and I was just waiting for something else to happen, you know, like I was so sure that something else was going to happen, but thankfully it didn't, but it was enough to freak the living hell out of me, like I've heard of people experiencing this, but I never thought it could happen to me and it did, and up till this point I'm still very much afraid in my own home, I... You know, like the slightest sound in my home, I, I get freaked out and I get paranoid and I get, you know, it almost seems like I just can't be alone. Noel was quite nice enough, he, he was nice enough to, to share with me uh, a link on uh, YouTube where it's a Buddhist chant. Um, where, you know, if you feel any uneasiness or anything that's in your home, you know, it will, it will just go away. And uh, so far so good, nothing has happened. The, has not been any more disturbances to my knowledge but you know it it really freaked me out man I mean out of all like my experiences I have never felt like this before I, I feel scared I feel fearful that what if it happens again the next time what am I gonna do what am I to believe uh, what will I do then, you know? And I just hope that it doesn't happen again. Um, would I go back to Woodnook? My answer would probably be... I don't know, I mean, it's hard because, you know, I'm, I'm a big horror fan. I, I love doing these things. I, I've been doing it, but, you know, my recent experience has really freaked me out and has really scared me. Uh, but would I go back uh, you know the answer probably be no for now I mean if I muster up enough courage to go I, I would but at this point I know I, I, I might just even not do it all together anymore so yeah that's my experience for you guys